What's going on, Drafted Nation? I am Maddie D here with Bianca and, of course, Jackie Redman. We're going to be watching the show with you, so make sure that you tweet at us using hashtag Gillette Drafted and you tune into sportsnet.ca slash drafted immediately following the show. Enjoy, guys. 50 push-ups in 30 seconds? Woo! How do you like me now? Now, now, now? This is a really important assignment. I'm hoping to be master of sportscaster. I'm putting my entire life in. It doesn't get more pressure packed than this. So what do you have to say to that, okay, Bruno? Listen. There's only so many Sidney Crosby's in the world. When you're on a road trip of this magnitude. Expect the unexpected on Gillette Draft. Things are going to go wrong. I don't think today was my strongest showing. Everyone is in it for themselves. I feel like you guys are going to break me right now. By the end of today, there will only be three of you standing. I'm kidding you. So you're saying there's a chance. Who is going to set the bar? Can you bring it up a couple of notches? I don't want to be sitting there watching a sports channel balling my eyes up. I'm so weak and frail for such a big guy. Season five of Gillette Drafted. I'm Jackie Redman, along with last year's winner, Maddie D. And earlier this year, we traveled across this fine country looking for 24 people to bring to boot camp. And this right here is what they had to go through. Give me one sec. Oh, we're back, man. We're looking for 24 people to send to boot camp this year. Same as last year. Did you watch last year? Uh, I did not, unfortunately. Ooh, wrong answer. So you just like eat creatine all day yes, long? You're yeah. like, what is this? I don't like, miss many meals, man. Come on. Come on, Courtney. <laughs> oh, you didn't know? No. Da -na -na -na. Okay. Stage number one is they had to come over here to the trivia section where I grilled them with 20 sports trivia questions. I want you to go as quick as you can, okay. but I want the right answer. So okay. you have to hesitate. Hesitate, but give me the right answer. Okay. You see, Oliver Macklem, what's up? Him and I sat down for months and put together these 20 trivia questions to make sure people actually knew what they were talking about. The thing I, is, know, I know sports. I know sports. Well, let us find out. What a uh -huh. perfect segue. Here we go. What country is the Dano Chera from? That's not tennis. It's a day no, it's not. The Danian Tomlinson has the record for most TDs scored in one single NFL season. What was his 2007 total? I'm the confusing question. you now. Yes, you what are. What country is a Dano Chera? A Dano Chera. The Dano. Oh, it's the Dano Chera. The big Z. Yeah, the, oh, the big Z. Okay. Pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Let me guess. Something close. <laughs> you gotta give me a guess. I have to give you a guess? Yeah. Throw it a guess. Sweden. Nope. Can you give me three players on the Washington Nationals? No. Okay. What number did Eric Lindros wear? 99. Oh, no, sorry, 81. Oh, no, 88. It was 88. Okay, I'm definitely going with 88. To be honest, you were really, really hard on people. You took a lot of pride in this quiz that I you was. thought was so tough. I loved when people got stuff wrong. You're right. You're I right. am right. I am right. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> this is the Gillette shaving kiosk right behind us here. This is where people got shaved up. We make sure they looked good and felt good because the next stage was probably the toughest. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. This is, the next stage is where the pressure is really no on. Question. Everyone came over here looking good, feeling good, lots of confidence. And that right there was their camera. They had one minute to stand on this spot and talk about anything sports related. Hi guys, Henry From here. Halifax, Nova Scotia, Luke Reynolds. Hi, my name is uh, Sadaga Jawan. My name is Teddy Jenner. Here's Harrison Bourdon. Ladies and gentlemen, children of the board. Dane Belbeck. Julian Barbosa. Mark Richler. What's up, Canada? I'm Anthony Bruno. Talk about a serious, serious subject. It's sports My name pain. is Courtney, and you know what really grinds my gears? My name's Andrew Corey. Reed Price. Michael Labore. Hi, I'm Joe. Alex Martinez. Brett Consalvis. Anthony Scafano. So my name is Andrew Blanchett. My name is Judah Pongwa. Two of the fans of the Montreal Canadiens have unrealistic expectations. And we got, in my opinion, the next superstar of the league, Kyrie Irving. Hey guys, I'm JJ Lieberman. Hey! Ha! I'm just scared. scared the crap out of me. That's how we found 24 people to bring to Toronto and show us what they got on an even bigger stage. I can't wait to see it. It's where the fun really begins. Welcome to the Gillette Drafted Combine. Thanks for having me. One, two, three, great four. Three, four. There it is. I he was up five in the league in scoring. That's Henry. I know, man. Butler Bulldogs. Is that a guess? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Come on, Here we go. It's time to rise up. Get your hands up. For you guys sitting at home where you don't realize that Jackie and I do, that boot camp is intense. Oh. You okay? 
feeling shaky. Let's do this. Don't, don't, I'm glad the desk is here to hold me yeah, up. There you, go, there you, go. <laughs> you start off with the combine portion with Oliver and a guy we call Little John. Hilarious because he's massive. Anyway, you do some push-ups, you do some stretching, you do some jump tests. Oh. I never did well on the jump test. Ooh, better than I thought I'd do. And then you hit up the 20 trivia questions. They're very difficult, but we just want to see what people know, what they don't know. In what season did the Miami Dolphins go undefeated? Who is Murat Saffin's tennis playing system? Name four of the last five Norris Trophy winners. Then you go into the TV obstacle portion of this thing. You do a teleprompter read. What's up, Canada? Teddy Jenner in the 360 studios for another Sportsnet 360 update. So you went to a co-host challenge with myself where we ran through a quick debate. Nice. <laughs> a quick discussion with uh, just some different topics. Give me your Super Bowl pick right now. What team improved the most this offseason in the NBA? Give me your most underrated athlete in the four majors. And then they finished with the highlight read, which was even more difficult this year because the judges were about a foot and a half away. Yeah, the judges were in studio for the entire obstacle course, and the judging panel looks different this year as well. We had Cam Stewart back to judge once again, Greg Sansoni, Jenny Seiler from Gillette, and Greg Sansoni opted to make me a judge, and I, I felt it was a huge honor, so I was all business at boot camp. You know what? I thought his highlight read was amazing. I thought the storytelling was there. And it was a hard process for me. We had two guys that got in on both, so they took up two of the six spots, Joseph Otu and Teddy Jenner, yeah. which left us with four spots. And this season in particular, we had way more people succeed under the pressure than we even expected. So we had 10 or 12 people that really rose to the occasion and we had some tough decisions to make. What's up, Canada? It's Gillette drafted season five hopeful Anthony Bruno. Anthony Bruno has auditioned for this show before. This year he finally makes it and he nailed it. Be sure to tune into Sportsnet One tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific for more Rogers Cup action as Bashik Pospisil. You know what, there's no, a history of Is this. anybody complaining about that when he took the Magic to the NBA Finals in 09? And then after the AL added another one in the top of the eight, Mariano Rivera came in for the hold, making his final All-Star Game appearance. Everyone showed their love and respect for the greatest closer of all time. Wow, the bar has been set high for the rest of the top 25. Anthony, great job. You should be really proud of yourself. You, you, did, uh, you did fantastic in all three phases of that. Andrew Corey here with Gillette Drafted Season 5. It's official. So next up was Andrew Corey, and to be honest, like he kind of started a little bit underwhelming. The teleprompter read wasn't great. So while baseball's banning some players for a long time, the NHL is giving new life to a hockey city. The co-host section with me I thought was quite strong. Stellar. I want to know who's your most underrated athlete. I got to go Tony Allen with the Memphis Grizzlies because he is a defensive superstar. Sure. Then the highlight read again wasn't very strong. 30 seconds left, Spurs need to stop. But LeBron James drops the dagger. And then he ended on quite a high note. Do you want to explain this? Yeah, you know what? As somebody that's been on this show before, as a judge, I really feel for these guys. And his personality was not showing, but I knew it was there. So I said to him, oh. in your one of your social challenges, you did about six different accents. These guys haven't seen it. Could right. you display a couple of those for these guys? Because it's unbelievable. Salut, Drafted Nation. C'est moi, André Jean-Paul Coré. The first thing I did, I did an accent. I was from France, and I did a, a backflip to show everyone my parkouring skills. And then I went on to uh, Ivan Korilenko. I come from Russia. Um, <laughs> I, I am very uh, good juggler, best juggler in my town. My mother says I could be good for TV because my infectious personality. And then I finished with uh, Gunther Lugan Korishlagen from Sit Germany. <laughs> so I wanted you to watch me do some break dancing. I hope you like what you see. <laughs> Next up was Jude, who I didn't really know what to expect from. Uh, he was kind of in and out all summer long. I actually thought he did pretty well. So my question is, is he that much of an upgrade from Omer? Oh, 100%. Well, I don't know 100. Yeah, That's no, a bold number. We're, we're going to have to agree to disagree because... Well, I guess we'll have to. Very put together guy, and he really, really impressed all the judges, but specifically Cam Stewart. The one word for you is smooth. And every er, effortless in the auto queue. It is official. Alex Rodriguez was suspended for 211 games today for the use of PEDs and his involvement with the Biogenesis Clinic. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Yeah, I agree. The confidence thing was big for me. I loved when you said to Matt, we're going to have to agree to disagree then. Yeah. You know, you stood your ground, so well done. Next up was J.J. Lieberman. J.J. was a guy. Oh, J.J. <laughs> J.J. stood out right from the audition tour. Okay, so here comes. Wait! 
I knew we were going to get an entertaining TV obstacle course, and I think we definitely did. What did, you, what did the judges think of JJ? The judges thought JJ was just that, yeah. very entertaining. Start of the third, Jones takes the opening kickoff from the back of the end zone, and he finds the seam as he's off to the races. Look when he was doing his highlight read, he had us all uh, laughing the entire time. I'm ready. You know, <laughs> I, know. Just, ready. Like, I believe you. If I don't make this, I'll play on the softball team. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we had Harrison Bourdon, who was a guy that I was really looking forward to. He did so well all summer. Give me your most underrated athlete in any of the four major sports. Give me one guy. It's got to be Eli Manning for me. And whoa, whoa. <laughs> How is he underrated? He's underrated because nobody gives him, he's, he's still not considered an elite quarterback. Jackie, what would you think of his boot camp? Well, you know what, his TV obstacle course was a little bit underwhelming. The three-time AL MVP will make his season debut tonight for the Yankees against the White Sox. The judges were not impressed by him. Well, it's hard to judge right now where you stack up. But we're going to get back to you later today, and, uh, and, and we'll let you know whether or not you crack the top six. So good luck. But I knew that he was capable of so much more. So at that point, I was like, I might have to do some fighting for this guy later. It's official. Alex Rodriguez was suspended for 211 games today for the use of PEDs. So after Harrison went, we had uh, Courtney, who I was definitely looking forward to. You know, I, girl. I love her. She was so awesome all summer. I love the way that she was on the audition tour. What did you think of Courtney's boot camp? I thought Courtney's also, of course, was pretty good. You know, her co-host was deaf with you was definitely the highlight. Maddie, according to his own words, he is the best player in the NBA. And Which if you're going to make him prove it no, by no, playing that's, basketball, that's obscene. I don't know about that. Obviously, <laughs> I don't even think he's the best point guard, let alone the best player in the NBA. This okay. girl has such an amazing personality, and every time you see her, you just smile. The banter is top notch. Good stuff. You repped the ladies well today. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> some really nice presence, and, and it really felt like you, you knew what you were doing, uh, and it was good to see that confidence. Thank you. I don't know how we're going to get to six people by the end of the night. I have no idea. I have like, I have like ten who I think could legit go.